So ladies and gentlemen, today on Sports Power, we're going to be talking about uh, one of the most interesting uh, legends of the Montreal Canadiens. Now, this goaltender came to prominence in the 1970s for being the backup to the great Kenny Dryden for the Montreal Canadian uh, championship teams of the last part of the decade. Of course, we're going to be talking about Michel the Rock, better known as Bunny the Rock. Now, uh, Michel Raymond Bunny the Rock was born April 6, 1952, and came to heavy recognition in the early uh, 1970s, actually late 60s, early 70s, for a strong uh, career with the Ottawa 67s of the Ontario Hockey Association. Um, he played with uh, the 67s between 68 and 72, and led the league and set out for the last three of those years. Uh, he was also a rough goalie, one of the most penalized goalies in OHA history, and was regularly involved in fights. Now, in 1973, uh, he uh, basically started uh, his big career with the Montreal Canadiens, who had drafted him actually sixth overall in the 1972 NT draft. He started his NHL career in 74 with the Canadiens after uh, uh, playing with the Nova Scotia Voyagers of the AHL uh, as his training ground. Um, he was named uh, co-winner of the League Half Homes Memorial Award and uh, uh, selected a second team all-star uh, in that year. Now, um, because he served as a backup to Ken Dryden, people couldn't really fully assess him because Dryden would play 50 or 60 games. Lerock most times would play against the weaker teams in the league. He would rarely play against Boston or Philadelphia or the Rangers or uh, the Maple Leafs. Now, uh, Lerock shared uh, four Vezina titles uh, with uh, with Dryden. At the time, the Vezina was given for the lowest goal league, goals against average. Now, uh, in 77, Lerock led the, led the NHL and his team with a 2.09 goals against average. And um, because of Dryden's success uh, between the pipes, he only played 26 games that year, but I think he only lost one one game. Now, in 79, when Dryden retired, Laroque won his fourth and final Vezina Trophy, sharing duties with Richard Sevigny and uh, newly acquired Denny Harrell in 1981. Now, uh, four-time Stanley Cup winner, with Montreal, of course, in 76 and 79. He played in one playoff game against the Rangers in 79 when Dryden was on his way out. Uh, Dryden played very poorly in game one, and the Leroy came in in relief. He was supposed to take uh, take over duties for game two, but a rising shot by Doug Risebrow gave him uh, a concussion. He couldn't finish the rest of the game, and Dryden held the fort. <coughs> <clears throat> for the rest of the series, winning four straight, and Lerouk, uh basically his uh, his only shot of glory was uh, thrown out. Now, near the trade deadline in 1981, he was let go uh, by Montreal and traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs for uh, what was once a great pro defensive prospect, Robert Picard. Now, uh, Lerouk had heavy duties with Toronto. Uh, the following season, uh, he played in 50 games. And uh, unfortunately, he started to fade in his skills. He was a net uh, for a, a very, uh, you know, uh, rotten game for Toronto when any of the Sabres scored a record nine goals in one period in a 14-4 win over the, uh, the Maple Leafs. Uh, after that tough goal with Toronto, he was traded to the Flyers in 83 for fellow uh, goalie uh, Rick St. Croix. And he uh, finished his NHL career with the Blues in 84 after being sold by the Flyers, who had established Billy Lindbergh, the late Billy Lindbergh, as number one. Now, he retired in hockey, uh, pro hockey in 1985, after playing in 13 games with the Peoria Rivermen of the IHL. So, the rock style was basically, as a backup, a very uh, competent goalie. But every time he was given a chance, to expand his skills, and I'll give you a little story. When Laroque had the most of the duties for Montreal after Montreal lost the first two games against the Stars 
in the quarterfinals in 1980. He had an opportunity after Montreal won three straight to put the Stars out of their misery in game six in Minneapolis. And LaRuck had probably one of the worst games of his career, giving up five goals. Uh, and uh, he was uh, benched before game seven. Denny O'Rourke had played, and you know what happened there with the Stars scoring late to take the series. He was never really considered anything else than a, a competent backup. You look at the other backups for uh, the backups for Montreal Canadiens. Uh, not as good as Brian Hayward. Not as good. But he also, uh, when Dryden had uh, left the head for the '74 season, he uh, was asked to take a lot of duty against the Rangers, where the Montreal lost the series in '74. And he wasn't really somebody that that really stood out. You look at Carey Price's backups for Montreal. Uh, they've had some talented backups, Jakarski and everybody else. But uh, Laroc was never really also considered for international play, even though uh, there was opportunity he could play for Team Canada internationally. He was never uh, really selected. Now, after his playing career ended, he uh, served as GM of the Victoriaville Tigers of the Q League during the 89-90 season and won the second year for that year. Uh, he actually moved on to the vice presidency of the QMJHL during the 91-92 season and unfortunately uh, died at the much too young age of the age of 40 of brain cancer in his hometown of Hull, Quebec. Now, to say Michel Bunny LaRock was underrated or overrated would be kind of a misnomer. Bunny, like I said, he had a very specific style, typical stand-up, comparable to... to uh, Bouchard uh, with the Nordic, comparable to, uh, uh, for example, you might say if Andy Moog had left down, he'd be Michel Bundelon. But for what he did for being a backup, and uh, nobody uh, really uh, thought that of him in the media like us, he just said, hey, Bunny is just a backup. He's going to play every third or fourth game, and, you know, he'll very rarely play at the forum. He played in the road like he played against the Capitals, the Rockies, Kansas Scouts, whatever. And, you know, he gave Dryden the rest. But Dryden wasn't perfect at all as well. Dryden uh, gave up some rotten goals through the years, and Bunny LaRock was basically somebody that would play the angles correctly. He would rarely make mistakes, but like I said, the opportunity he needed to shine, bad luck against, uh, you know, Rangers in Game 2 in 79, a uh, bad game against the Stars in 1980, uh, you know, against the Rangers in 74, he was seen as disposable, and that's uh, basically what happened. Now, again, uh, big award, OHA second All-Star team in 71, first All-Star team in 72, half owns a Memorial Award winner in 73 uh, with uh, Michel de Dubuque, AHL second All-Star team in 73, Vezina Trophy winner four times, Stanley Cup award winner four times, and the John Horman Trophy again in 1990. Now, overall, he had a very impressive record of um, 160 wins, 89 losses, 46 ties, and again in the playoffs he uh, he uh, had only a six and six record. Again, uh, the bad results against the Rangers, uh, you know that partial game uh, in '79, those games in uh, 1980, and um, you know the was basically all these time because backups like that, Doug Savelle, Solitart a few others, he knew the role. But like I said, um, him dying young in cancer, he's the forgotten, I, I did a previous podcast, the forgotten players in the Montreal Kings like Steve Jennings. Michel LaRuck, again, he was just an afterthought because uh, Dryden was so successful and Dryden playing internationally in 72, uh, internationally uh, throughout the years, uh, you know, Challenge Cup, stuff like that uh, in 1975. Um, but he was a favorite of Codrell. We all know uh, the famous uh, comments in the game. But, uh, you know, in Montreal, you knew he was number one and you knew he was number two. Who was number two? And But uh, but the uh, the occasion where Laroque had that chance to lead uh, a team out of the wilderness with the 81-82 lead, you know, uh, 50, 50 games, 10 losses, uh, 10 wins, 24 losses, uh, eight ties, 4.69 goals against average. He went from a two to three goals against average in Montreal to the high fours and low fives. And, uh, you know, with the Blues, uh, giving uh, losing five straight games against the Blues in his last shot, 
you know, showed that, you know, he was he was just, you know, a backup. And he needed a strong team ahead of him and when he didn't he was just mediocre. And uh, you know, just the way it goes. So this is the latest sports file podcast in the Montreal Canadiens. Please give a like, uh, comment, or subscribe. Again, I don't want to uh, talk bad about the dead too much. Uh, Buddy the Rock was part of that francophone uh, core of players of the 70s with Savard and Lapointe and Lemaire and everybody else. But like I said, uh, I think Montreal was lucky to have him because for those four straight cups, he didn't have to worry about a back backup because the Rock was confident enough to the whole of the until Dryden, you know, got his lactic acid out of his body. So, by the way, uh, if you have a chance, uh, there are some, uh, some Michelle Bunny the Rock games on uh, YouTube you can look at and it'll show you his style. Sort of a combination of a uh, stand up and, uh, you know, a butterfly. Uh, you know, I wouldn't teach the Rock style to any uh, uh, up and coming goalie because it was just basically his style. So, anyway, have a good afternoon and, uh, Stay cool, uh, New Brunswick. Have a good day.